Dedicating 70 years to performing, teaching, and choreographing, Martha Graham has forever influenced the world of dance. Before Martha, classical ballet was the only widely accepted and critically acclaimed dance technique. Martha created a new body of movements that have become one of the main schools and foundations for modern dance. She connected the body with emotions the way no dancer has before. Her influence extends beyond dance. Celebrities like Betty Davis and Madonna have worked with Martha in developing their own performances. Helen Keller even sat in on Martha's rehearsals. They sought advice on how to bring out of themselves drama and emotion that nobody else quite captured like Martha. Her influence is so profound that she was the first dancer to perform in the White House and that she received the Kennedy Center honors. On a more personal note, I grew up dancing. Modern dance, and specifically the Graham technique, which you can see me demonstrating here, has allowed me to connect deeper with myself and find more opportunities to live in the moment. For this reason, I wanted to explore how Martha created a dance technique so profound that it could encourage dancers and audiences to feel raw emotions and lose themselves in movement. I now would like to share a few insights I learned about Martha Graham's creativity. Martha talks about spontaneity in performance, taking a lot of discipline and practice. How can you be random and disciplined all at the same time? Martha firmly believed that discipline allows you to find what you are supposed to be. Preparation opens the door for possibility. In regards to dance, this means always returning to the studio to perfect your technique so that on stage you can look effortless. However, discipline can be practiced in all aspects of life whether it is becoming an expert in your field or going back to the basics. Discipline can be used to develop creativity. Another thing Martha discusses is the inevitability of dance and trusting your own intuition. Martha believes that in each of us, we hold a blood memory, a history of our ancestors that has come before us. These latent memories and personal experiences make up who we are. It allows our minds to go on adventures that we may never physically experience. However, through dance, performers transcend and are able to experience these adventures mentally and physically. In our own lives, it is important to trust our instincts and allow our minds to tap into mental adventures. Through this, we may be inspired by something we would never actively think about. In Martha's words, the main thing is that there is only one of you in the world, and if that's not fulfilled, then something has been lost. The discipline and intuition that dance produces in each performance culminates to what Martha calls the inevitable, and the third takeaway from her creative process, the movement that quickens you to the now. She says, movement never lies. Martha's technique is based mainly around the breath, the most basic movement of life. When you exhale, notice how your stomach contracts. This is one of the main positions of her technique. Martha speaks about the breath and therefore movement being essential to life. When practicing the Graham technique, you are literally performing the breath the dance of life. In today's society, it is important to the creative process that you are able to disconnect, be here, be now, experience your own dance of life. Martha has found a way to capture this in her dances, and everyone can find a way to capture this in their own lives. Being in the moment is essential to the creative process. The world of dance has taken away so much from Martha's creativity process, and hopefully today, so have you. permitting life to use you in a very intense way. Sometimes it's not pleasant. Sometimes it's fearful. But nonetheless, it's inevitable.